What's up, everybody? It's me, Joey P. Joe P. Zafia, back with another waiver wire video for week nine in Major League Baseball. So I hope you're all ready to add some guys to your roster because this week's edition is going to be post hype sleeper edition. That's right. A little bit of a theme because there's some guys right now floating around the waiver wire with a lot of talent. We used to get a lot of publicity, but now it seems like they're just kind of floating around there for you to add to your roster. But before we tell you about those names, I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Fantasy Pros MLB and like this video because it's literally the least you can do, but we appreciate that. Just that, that's all you gotta do. So enough of that, let's get to the names and let's start with the Minnesota Twins, Trevor Larnick. Now, I was always asked back in the day, who do you prefer, Joe, in that Minnesota Twins system in the outfield, Trevor Larnick or Alex Kirilov? And inevitably, I would always answer with Trevor Larnick. I thought he's a very solid player. If you look at the career minor league statistics there, this is a guy that hit 290 over his minor league career with an 825 OPS. Always been a very solid hitter. Gave you some pop. A good athlete as well. And if you look at what he's done so far this year, very quietly over 33 games and 100 at-bats, three home runs, 15 ribbies, 290 batting average. So he's going to give you some batting average and a little bit of pop at that major league level. I understand playing time sometimes can be a little tricky with the Minnesota Twins, but he's just 15% rostered right now, and I think that's criminal. I think there's a great opportunity to buy low. Maybe Trevor Larnick is a guy that gets moved on at some point as the Twins continue to add more pieces and continue to compete in that American League Central. Or maybe just maybe this guy continues to hit consistently and he carves out those every single day at-bats and continues to be that guy. So Larnick is a guy worth adding right now. Another name that I think is grossly undervalued at 24% rostered is Nico Horner of the Cubs. He qualifies at second and sometimes short in some leagues as well. On the year over 37 games, he's got three home runs, five stolen bases, five stolen bases already, and he's at 285. Nico Horner was a can't miss, can't trade prospect. And it's taken him a little while to get going, but Nico Horner has a ton of talent. And the fact that he's still floating around waiver wires just befuddles me. This is a guy can give you some power, can give you some speed, and it's probably because he plays on the Cubs and the Cubs aren't very good this year. But Nico Horner is showing you all the reasons why the Cubs organization was so excited about him a few years ago. And he's starting to realize some of that potential. So jump on board. 25% roster. Come on, he's available in 75% of your leagues. Next on our list is John Gray, another post-type guy. John Gray has had some bad luck. John Gray has had some stops and starts. And I've talked about John Gray before. He's coming off a 12 strikeout, no decision earlier this week. He's got 44 strikeouts in just 41 innings, and he's given up just 35 hits. So I don't care about the one and two record. I don't care about the 4-8-3 ERA. What I care about, is he striking out guys? Yes. Is he tough to square up? Absolutely. Look at that 1.22 whip. John Gray is still working the kinks out and has still yet to get on track in a situation where he can take the ball every fifth day and get into a rhythm. He is starting to do that, and it's nothing but upside, and he's rostered in just 45% of leagues right now. Everybody can use more pitching. Don't pretend like you can't. Of course you can. Everybody needs extra pitching, so add John Gray now on the cheap before someone else does. Another pitcher worth adding, but maybe not overpaying for is Spencer Strider of the Atlanta Braves. Now, in a relief role this year, he's been fantastic. And that's mostly what you've seen, but you've seen him make a start already this week. So over 28 innings so far in the year, again, mostly in relief. He's got 44 strikeouts, 13 walks. He's got a 108 whip and a 3.45 ERA. There's every reason to be excited about the velocity and the stuff of Spencer Strider, right? This guy is striking out guys. But as sometimes players make that transition from a reliever to a starter, things can get a little wacky. So be patient if you add him. Don't overpay for him at the same point in redraft leagues, but I do think he's somebody at 23 years old you want to add. There is upside here, and of course he qualifies at RP, and if he's making consistent starts, that could be a win in some of those leagues where you have those mandatory RP slots. So get Strider on your team, but again, I wouldn't break the bank for him necessarily either. Last guy on the list is J.P. Byerson of the Tampa Bay Rays. I know they have a closer by committee system, and Tampa does what Tampa's going to do. But if you look at the numbers so far in the year, he's got 24 innings under his belt, 25 strikeouts, four walks, a .46 whip, and a 0.00 ERA. That's a lot of zeros because he's given up no earned runs on the year. Now, Fireson did just pick up a save on Sunday, and I think there's a chance over time here that the roll starts to go his way. So if you're looking to speculate on saves with a guy that's rostered in roughly 30% of leagues, Fireson is that name to start 
getting involved with and pick him up. So those are the names on the week nine list of guys to add. If you've got other names you want to talk about, drop them in the chat here on our YouTube channel that you know you subscribe to already over your Fantasy Pros MLB. And don't forget to check out Leading Off every day, noon Eastern live. We're coming to you with baseball talk. Our baseball show is better than other baseball shows because it's fun and informative. And you can be a part of it too if you subscribe. Plus, it's available wherever you get your podcast. That's Leading Off. And that'll do it for me, Joey P. We'll see you next time, kids. Thanks for tuning in to the Fantasy Pros YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out our featured videos. And while you're at it, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Fantasy Pros so you can get the latest news and updates to give you the edge you need in your fantasy league.